Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm super, super excited because today I'm gonna be doing part two to the Victoria's Secret swimsuit haul, which if you haven't seen that one, make sure you check the link in the description and I'll also link it somewhere on this video where you can just click and head right on over and watch that video and then you can watch this video or you can watch this video and then watch that video. That's totally fine too. I'm gonna be trying on about five more bathing suits that I got from Victoria's Secret. If you're watching this video and you're hearing my voice, I am so, so grateful for having your eyes on my channel and helping me grow to 10,000 subscribers by my birthday. June 1st, I want to have 10,000 subscribers. I'm putting that out there. I'm putting that into the universe. If you are a part of helping me reach that goal by watching, by liking, by leaving a comment, by subscribing, I want to thank you so much. I appreciate you. I just want to say that. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the swimsuit try-on. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here we have the first bikini. And as you can see, it's like, it's looking on the camera kind of like a yellow, like a neon bright yellow. But in person, it's actually like a mustard yellow. It's really like a muted, but at the same time, it's very vibrant also. But it's really like a mustard, greeny shade of yellow. And it's really, really very pretty. I love the style of this bathing suit. It's really very unique. It's like a halter top that ties around the back of your neck. And then it has like this peekaboo section right in here. And then you, of course, tie it here in the front as you see. So it comes like that and then you just obviously tie it to your liking. And voila. And the material of this bathing suit is very, very soft. Very soft, very smooth, definitely very, very comfortable. And then as you can see here, the bottom is made from the same material. And what I love about this bottom is, I feel like, am I overexposed? Like, is the camera too bright or? Okay, hold on. Let me turn down the exposure. Hang on. Just a little bit. But now it's too dark. Right? Is it too dark? Child, I don't know. Let's just continue. Okay, so here you can see the bottom. What I love the most about this bottom is that if you strain it out like this, you can see that it's cut, the material is cut in a way where it's gonna give you some shape. When you wear it like a high waist, how it's supposed to be worn, the shape of how the material is cut definitely adds, you know, the illusion of more shape. So if you are, you know, you don't have much hips, you definitely are gonna get more of a curvaceous figure with this style of bathing suit. It does come with these tie strings on the side, which I think you're supposed to just kind of tie like that. So let's sort that out. All right, so I think that's just for decoration and style on the side of the bathing suit because it really doesn't do anything but look cute. <laughs> and that's all right. That's totally fine because it does look really, really cute and it just adds a little bit of extra style and flair to this bathing suit. Now, if we turn around to the back, you can see it is not a thong but it is a very cheeky style of bottom. And my butt tends to eat up swimsuits. <laughs> so as you can see, it's kind of doing that now, but 
it doesn't look bad. A lot of times when your butt will eat up a bathing suit, it will kind of bunch up and gather and there's like a lot of extra material here. But as you can see, this bathing suit doesn't do that. It looks just fine. And let me show you the back of the top. So as you can see there, let me turn back up the exposure. Hang on. A little bit more. That should be good. Okay. So here you can see the back is just a normal halter top back that ties around the neck like that. And I really love this swimsuit. I think it's really unique. It's really stylish. It's very classy. It's just like a real classy bathing suit. If you want to make it a little bit more risque, I guess you can kind of like open this up a little bit more. And if you have bigger boobs, you're going to have a lot of cleavage here that's going to make this bathing suit even more sexy. But I think I definitely feel well supported. I don't feel like I'm going to slip out at any point. You know, it's definitely holding the girls up. You just want to make sure that this is, you probably want to double knot this so that it doesn't come loose. And yeah, really, really love this swimsuit. Love the color, love the style of the top. I also love the style of the bottom. This one I think is definitely a keeper. Here is the next bathing suit, and oh my god, this is really, really sexy. So let me tie the top around the neck, and there's just something about a black bathing suit that's just so sophisticated and classy. glance so the first thing I'm noticing is this little section right here now is that because it's too high maybe it's supposed to be worn yeah I think that looks a lot more flattering so that your love handles are not like you know what I'm saying okay so that looks a lot better now this looks really good i really hope that i have it on properly pretty sure that i'm wearing it properly here looks really good and then i have it tied around my neck yeah i think it looks really good let's look at the back oh definitely meant to be a thong and it's like a high-waisted style in the back and then it clasps here in the middle and then it ties around the neck in the back and yeah I think I love how high this is like this is so sexy I really love how this looks I think it looks really great in the back as well. But the side, the side profile, yes. We love a good 
side profile. Really loving the high waist, high hip, whatever you want to call that. Um, but I see that it's kind of riding up again to kind of expose my little tiny love handles. So I don't know, girls, if you have a lot of meat on your hip waist, this might not be the most flattering for you. Then again, I'm very tall. I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and I have a very long torso. So what could also be happening is because my torso is so long that the bathing suit is having to stretch a lot more. You know, like on a shorter girl, it probably would be somewhere around here where your love handles wouldn't be such a big deal. But hey, if you're into your love handles hanging out, more power to you, girl. Um, for me, I think that looks fine. But then when it comes up a little bit higher like that, that doesn't look very flattering at all. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Do you see? Like, I don't think that looks very good. That doesn't look very good. But I think the bathing suit overall is really pretty, really classy, really sophisticated, very flattering. Love how high it is around the butt area. Definitely, you know, is a look. Love the ruching or the gathering that it has right here on the tummy part as well as this part right here. The black is like a very rich black. It's not like a faded black or an off black. It's like a nice color black. Also, a lot of times with bathing suits with this style, it's not very supportive. Like it doesn't really fit everything in, but this one really, really does. Like it fits everything in. I feel covered as well as I feel supported, like nothing is gonna pop out. And this part, I mean, I guess if you wanted more support, you could tie this a little bit tighter. And I think that also kind of changes the style of the bathing suit. Like it kind of makes this part go a little bit straighter, which I quite like as well. Yeah, I feel like out of 10, I would give this, I want to give it a 10 because the style is amazing. But I think because, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I would give it an 8. I would give it an 8 because, I don't know, I don't know if I feel 100% comfortable in it. But it looks amazing. I love it. Alright, so here is the next swimsuit, and yes, yes, yeah, no, seriously, I like this bathing suit a lot. Now, um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with these strings. I'm assuming you can... Ooh, imagine if I loop these strings through the bottom and then you can kind of turn this into a one piece some kind of way. If you just keep looping it through 
Although I'm certain that that's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I think these strings are supposed to go around the neck. I'm not sure. But I'm going to make sure to link to all of these bikinis in the description below so you can see exactly how this one is meant to be worn. But either way, either way, I mean, the strings could just hang, to be honest with you. I mean, they could go around here. Let's just tie it like this for now. Any way you want to tie this string, this bikini is really, really nice. First of all, it's a very, very teeny tiny bikini. It's definitely very, you know, you're going to be very exposed in this bikini for sure. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable in your body and you're comfortable in the skin you're in to rock this one. Okay? I feel like it's too bright. Let me turn down the exposure again. Again. I have to figure this out, guys. This whole exposure with natural light thing. Because now it's too dark. Now, is it too dark? Now I feel like it's too dark. Okay, we're gonna turn it back. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. There you go. We're gonna work with this. All right, so this bikini, it's definitely a micro bikini. The top as well as the bottom are definitely very impy skimpy. And what I love about this is when I was putting it on, like this, you could really put this very, very high on your hip or on your waist and make it a very high, you know, style of bathing suit. When I turn around, it's not meant to be a thong. It's meant to be a normal bikini bottom. But unlike with the Victoria's Secret, is this Victoria's Secret? Let's check what brand this is. No, this is Monica Hansen Beachwear, sold by Victoria's Secret. Now, the thing that I love about Victoria's Secret, like Victoria's Secret's brand of swimsuit, is they kind of have like a, the way they design the bottoms, they really stay outside of your butt. Like they really grab onto your butt and they don't turn into a wedgie. You know, I don't know if you're designing swimsuits, I would imagine that you would prioritize the fit of the swimsuit. Maybe most people don't mind if they have a wedgie all day at the beach, but personally, I prefer when a swimsuit will, you know, adhere to my butt and stay out of my butt. Um, so, they're doing yard work outside, so you might hear a little bit of noise in the background but here you can see I love how the bottom fits I love these hoops very sexy matches the hoops on the top and it's just very very sexy very very sexy a very barely there bikini perfect for the summer perfect for the spring I love the white color it definitely just gives a vibe you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's definitely a vibe <laughs> it's such a vibe it's such a vibe do you guys like when I'm more goofy in the videos or do you like when I'm more like sexy and serious I'm a very goofy person so <laughs> I'm just gonna be myself and that's on period that's the one Mary had a little lamb Period. Okay, so back to the bathing suit. Very sexy. Very sexy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. No complaints. The only complaint was the back part, you know, the little wedgie situation. That's very common of uh, 
swimsuits in general. Swimsuit designers, please. If it's not a thong, we don't want it to be up in our butt. Please put a lining or an elastic or something to where it doesn't right up in the butt. Otherwise, from that, no complaints. Beautiful swimsuit. Beautifully designed, nice fabric, impy skimpy, micro bikini vibes, and I am here for it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this swimsuit? You like it? Tell me in the comments below. So make sure you go and check that out. As I was saying, if you saw part one of this series, you'll remember that I tried on a top very similar to this, but it was in red. And I love this top. This top is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really supportive. It's really, really classy and sophisticated for a bathing suit. And it just looks really, really good. It feels good, looks good, wears good. It's just like a perfect bathing suit top. Now, the bottoms are also a little bit different than the first one I tried on. These have like this uh, rhinestone studded Victoria's Secret on the side, which is cute. I have to say though, this one compared to the red one does look a little bit more like actual underwear, like actual lingerie. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm wearing my underwear. Like I'm wearing Victoria's Secret lingerie. I really like this Victoria's Secret rhinestone feature. I would just be a little bit concerned that with time and with swimming in the water that maybe it would start to lift and not look so nice. And I've said before that Victoria's Secret makes some of the best swimsuits out there. These swimsuits will last you years and years to come. So I would hate to have a feature like this that wouldn't last as long um, because the material and the style and the shape of the swimsuit is definitely going to keep up over time. Alright, so we've reached to the last bikini in this haul and it's this pink one with the hoops and the hoops. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one. And this one also is by Monica Hansen. Monica Hansen Beachwear. And it's like, it's like a, this is not a Barbie pink. This is like a, I don't know what kind of pink you would call this. It's kind of like an 80s pink, you know? It's like a neon pink, but it's like a mute neon pink, if that makes sense. It's almost like a baby pink, but a little bit more vibrant. And as you can see, it's like, um, we're gonna call these moon cups 
top with a halter strap that ties around your neck. And the halter does have uh, hoops as you can see here, same as the bottom with the same hoop here in the middle. And it's just, it's very comfortable. That's my first impression. It's also giving me micro bikini vibes because this front part is very, very teeny tiny. And then if I turn around to the side, you can see here that it goes up really very high. So you're seeing a lot of the side as well. And in the back, again, it's not meant to be a thong, but it does kind of gather a little bit in your butt, which is fine. I think it looks fine. You guys tell me in the comments if it looks weird or if it looks fine. But the front is really, really pretty and really sexy. I love that you can very easily have it kind of a little bit lower like this and the fabric is so flexible that you can easily bring it up like this as well on your hip. The top is really comfortable. I must say that it fits my boobs perfectly. If my boobs were any bigger than this, they would just be kind of spilling out. Let me turn the exposure down a little bit. Yeah, so the top fits perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And it does have like an underwire, so it does give you a little bit of a lift, and it definitely feels very supportive. Very, very cute. Oh, and actually, this strap is removable so you can actually remove this strap if you want to and wear it as a strapless top that's really nice and convenient now i don't know if it feels supportive Ugh, they're doing yard work outside <laughs> Why y'all doing yard work right now? I'm trying to film a video. We're going to continue because we're almost done. As I said, this is the last one. So you can wear this as a strapless if you like. I don't know if it feels supportive enough to where I would swim and, you know, kind of just be out with no straps because it doesn't really have anything to hold it up. But this would be really great if you're like laying down on a bed or on the sand and like sunbathing and you don't want to have any tan lines, you can just remove the straps and wear it like this. Okay, so very cute, love the color, love the style, love the, love love that the straps are removable let me just kind of give you a full view one eternity later all right so i had a little snack and i'm back hopefully with less noise in the background so as i was saying I really love that this swimsuit has the option that you can remove the straps. So if you want to lay down in a sunbed or lay down by the pool or on the sand and just kind of get a little, you know, a little sun, a little tan, a little color without having the strap around your neck, this bathing suit makes it very easy. It came with that one and it also comes with an extra strap here, which is convenient. It's very flattering. I think the color looks great on my skin tone. And I love when a swimsuit in the front, you can kind of see that V in the front. I don't know, I think that just looks really sexy. And I like it. Let me show you the back. You see it's just the regular clasp here and yeah 
really love this swimsuit. So there you have it. This pink bikini concludes this swimwear haul from Victoria's Secret. I'm really, really enjoying creating these videos for you guys. So if you do like them, make sure to show me some support and help me to grow my channel by subscribing, by giving this video a like, by commenting, that really helps as well. And I always try to comment back. Thank you again so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.